Imagine I just found like a woodland mansion on accident instead. That'd be crazy. How uncommon is it to find a woodland mansion without getting the map? I feel like that's gotta be super uncommon. Welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. Today I decided to finally take on an ocean monument However, in the process of doing that, I may have stumbled upon something else pretty cool. Now, do me a favor. If you go on to enjoy this video, smash that like button, but also 1000% of people aren't subscribed or whatever. So hit subscribe because only the most advanced humans can be subscribed to the Wadzi channel. And let's get right into the video. And this video shout out is coming from YouTube. Thank you to this person. You're an absolute legend. G'day guys, my name is Wadzi and welcome back to episode 13 of Hardcore Minecraft. And that's right, in today's episode we are going to take on an ocean monument and I'm going to show you how I can easily decimate an entire ocean monument with just a couple stacks of wood. Before we do that though, you didn't think I forgot, did you? Of course we need to add another 200 melons to our melon farm. I actually forgot my buckets. How did I forget my buckets? All right, and there you have it. Yet another 200 melons added to the farm. If you want to see how big this farm ends up getting, you know, we're constantly adding 200 melons every episode we do. Make sure to subscribe. And in fact, while I'm here, I may as well collect all the wood we're going to need to take on this ocean monument today. So I'm just going to grab like two stacks of wood or something. A big amount. I'll grab a fair bit. Alright, so now that we've got all the wood we're going to need, we'll just do a few final preparations. Yeah, since we're going into the, uh, since we're going into the ocean, into an ocean on monument underwater, I figured we'd make some potions of water breathing. In fact, we've already got a couple here, but since it's very on brand of me to be well over prepared for anything I do, I'm going to make a few more. Alright, well there you go. We now have five potions of water breathing, which is equivalent to 40 minutes of water breathing. In fact, well, the whole plan is that we don't need potions of water breathing because the whole plan with the wood is that we're going to make a bunch of doors, which is going to make it so much easier for us. Got to be as prepared as possible because worst case scenario, we need to survive. This is hardcore Minecraft. We cannot afford to die. I now have the task of finding myself an ocean monument because I actually don't know where the closest one is. I know there's a lot of ocean to the right of me. In fact, there's a lot of ocean kind of in every direction. But let's go, let's go on that hunt. So the task of finding an ocean monument was proving to be more difficult than I had first thought. I could have sworn just by flying around the ocean, I'd find it in seconds. However, I didn't. So I had to make a few stops along the way. Well, so far, no luck with the ocean monument, but I have found this, uh, this, um, ship, which is above water. Hey, there we go. And our first buried treasure. All right, where's it going to be? I predict down here. Enemy spotted. Let's have a look. What have we got? What have we got? First of all, we got gold. Also got diamonds, emeralds, a little bit of iron, heart of the sea. That's the main thing here. Well, there you go. That's our first buried treasure discovered. Hello, village. This is a funky looking village. I don't know if I've ever seen a village like this. Is there any loot we can steal? Oh, hell yeah, I'll take some obsidian. Oh, he's stealing! He's stealing! Oh, and also, while on the way to the ocean monument, I said something pretty interesting, so just remember this. Imagine I just found, like, a woodland mansion on accident instead. That'd be crazy. How uncommon is it to find a woodland mansion without getting the map? I feel like that's gotta be super uncommon. And then, with a ton more traveling around, I eventually switched to a boat to save damaging my elytra wings any further, and with a bit more time, we found exactly what we were looking for. Oh my god, finally, finally, we have found our ocean monument. That actually took way too long. All right, well, now we're finally here. I'm ready. Let's, uh, let's take on this thing. And we're going in. We're taking on our very first ocean monument in hardcore Minecraft. Let's go. Got to break through. All right, now we're in. Do we want to make just a couple of doors? Now the fun begins. And even though I do have water breathing right now, this is how easy it is to not even need it. All right, so I've got my three stacks of doors. Let's take on this thing and see what happens. Oh, 
man. This is why doors are so OP. You want to break the chain they have? Close the door. In fact, I can't even lie. Door thing is a lot more tedious and boring than I thought. I've got you in my sights. All right, well, that's this room cleared. We need to find ourselves the Elder Guardians. I know where they are. Oh, I think I found my first Elder Guardian. And this is how easy it is. No water breathing potion needed. All you need is some doors. Here we found ourselves another Elder Guardian. Alright, where'd our Elder where'd our Elder Guardian go? I'm having too much fun, man. Too much fun. Surely it's dead. There we go. Another Elder Guardian defeated. We only have one more to go. Only one fish to go. Pretty sure the last Elder Guardian is usually like up, up somewhere in like the very roof. Like this hole isn't meant to be here. Is it? Where the hell am I? This does not seem right. Oh, hello. I want to get this fish completely out of water if I can. Stupid, Stupid thing. You're trapped. You can't go anywhere. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I think that's I think that's literally it. Now we just gotta find the sponge room and the gold room. I think we found the gold room already somewhere around here. Yeah, cool. Well now we just gotta wait for our mining fatigue to wear off. And we should be able to take the gold from this place. Alright, the gold is all ours. Yes, all of this effort. For a stack and a bit of gold. Was it worth it? Hell yeah. Now, where's this sponge room? I know there's a room usually filled with sponge. I guess what does come in handy is I can start breaking stuff now. Oh, I just dropped my pickaxe. That is a bad, bad idea. Yeah, I can start breaking walls now. It's gonna make exploring this place a lot easier. Oh, I think I found it. Uh, how do you mine sponge? Is it a hoe? It is. It is a hoe. Okay, well that's sponge secured. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think we're done here. We just gotta find our way back out and yeah, we're done. That was actually too easy. The whole door thing was more of an inconvenience than it was a good strategy. Hey, we're out of here. See you later, things. I'm going home. Wait, dude, I almost forgot. Very close to forgetting. I left my shulker box in here with all the goodies. Alright, now we can go home. Dude, what, what did I, what did I just say in this video? Imagine I just found like a woodland mansion on accident instead. That'd be crazy. How uncommon is it to find a woodland mansion without getting the map? What did I just say? I can't, what, uh, what? Dude, this is gonna look so fake. I legitimately mentioned like finding this thing. Uh, <laughs> um, well, we're in a woodland mansion now. I mean, it's stupid. Can you find chests under this wall or something? I don't know if that's a thing. Oh, hello. Are all these chests gonna be empty? Surely not. Oh. Okay, I guess these are all empty. That's cool. Dude, maybe this, maybe this is the one I can find a chest inside. Maybe. Oh, lapis. Okay. Wait, you can like break through walls, right? And there's like, aha, there is. There's hidden rooms. Another one of these chest rooms. Alright, let's go upstairs. Let's see what upstairs has got for us. Alright, we got a library in here. No chests. Room. Okay, surely is where's the chest at? There's gotta be some loot in these things, right? Ah, uh, this looks like it might be something, surely. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, 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 we got, oh, we got one of these guys now, huh? Oh. 
Oh. I did think these things got a lot more dangerous than this, though. But there may be something I'm missing. There it is, there it is. We got another chest. Diamond hoe? You know what? I'll take it for the memes. Oh, wait, this is literally it. That, that was the whole mansion. So after exploring through all floors and tearing through every single room, that was the entire Woodland Mansion conquered. And I must say, this was deeply disappointing. I expected a lot more action and a lot more loot from this mansion. I did all of that for a single diamond hoe. Let's just say I'm glad I didn't have to travel 10,000 blocks to experience that. Alright, well if there's some sort of farm or something I can make out of this Woodland Mansion, let me know. But otherwise, that is now the Woodland Mansion done. I'm out of here. Alright, now the next thing we want to do in this episode, before we end it, is I actually want to go back to the ocean. I want to see if I can find myself a trident. We're literally just going to have to swim around the ocean, explore underwater, until we find and kill enough drowns holding tridents. I've never actually gotten a trident, or I've got a, a trident in Murkraft before, but I haven't got it in like a Let's Play or anything, like in, just in a survival world. So this will be fun. Alright, well here's our first drown, but not holding a trident. Alright, now we're getting a few drown to spawn. This is more like it. Diamonds. Hello. This feels like Murkraft all over again. Oh, damn it, dude. I thought this guy might have been holding a trident. He was holding a fishing rod. Oh, that's our first one. We found our first drowned holding a trident. Will we get lucky and get the drop first try? Does not look like we did. Still no trident, come on. Oh. Damn, dude. Oh, hello. Got a little bit of a ruin down here. Hmm. Yeah, the loot's a bit boring, but... Wait, I hear a trident. <gasps> yes! Oh, this one's enchanted too. Please, this has got to be the one. No! Dude, these guys are spawning a lot more regularly than I would have thought. <laughs> no trident. I heard another trident. Where is it? Is it the little one? It is. It's the baby. Damn it. Alright, we found another ruins. Maybe we can find some treasure. I must say, the loot in these underwater things is uh, not not really worth it at all. I guess the treasure maps is the main thing, but... Hello there. Alright, we found it. Our eighth trident. Our right, eighth trident. Wielding drowned. Oh, damn. Wait, was there another one? Oh, hang on. This, one, this one's got a Nautilus shell, at least. I'll take that. There is another one. Dude. Alright, we managed to find number 10. Will this be the lucky one? No. No way. Back in an ocean ravine. Found more diamonds. It's just that easy. We managed to find 20. Oh my god, another vein. Hello. I was gonna say we managed to find uh, 20 diamonds. We managed to find 35 diamonds so far. Alright, it's been a while since our last uh, discovery. And this one has not even dropped us rotten flesh. Well, at the very least, we've been out here for a long time. At least we've found more diamonds. <laughs> well, hello there. Please. Oh my... Alright, I'm not gonna say anything, but this is the one. That's all I'm gonna say. It is! Finally! We have our very own trident with Riptide 1. Oh, it's fine. We can grindstone it. I don't think I want Riptide. It's very low durability, so of course I need to make sure I get mending and stuff on that thing before I use it at all. Do not want to break it, because this took so long just to get one trident. Yeah, I'm, I've got the trident now. Took us a while, but I think I'm going to leave the enchanting and stuff for... 
the next episode. In conclusion, we had a very successful episode today. From this ocean trip alone, we not only got our very own trident, finally, but we also came home with 40 diamonds, four Nautilus shells and two Heart of the Sea. And that is all on top of taking on the Ocean Monument and also accidentally finding a woodland mansion. So if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to let me know with a like rating and also subscribe if you want. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Hardcore Minecraft. Cheers. What was that? You've just finished watching the video and you don't know what to watch anymore. Well, why not head over to my second channel, Wadtui, where I post wacky vlogs and stuff and awesome videos. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just self-promoting, that's all. Hope you enjoyed the video.